Hello, hello again. This is Grizzly here, and this is part two of the vacation scam fail. <laughs> All right, so I was just finished talking about how this other guy had uh, had gotten into sort of a similar similar uh, type of ordeal. He he went to some Chinese store. And Fifth Avenue Vacations uh, was like, oh yeah, Fifth Avenue Vacations is the thing. If you ever get scammed by them, <laughs> d d don't, d don't. Um, anyway, so they, uh, or he, or she, whatever, uh, accidentally, like, I guess, not accidentally, um, actually called and uh, he and the people there were like oh okay yeah there's no the, but we don't include these uh, uh, like these fees or whatever in the free deal or whatever so so that yeah, he had to pay like four hundred dollars just for himself, so it came to be like eight hundred dollars for everything, and he was like really, really mad. And you know what? He was like, you know, what? that's fine because still, it's it's like a, a, a normal cruise or whatever would be like I don't know, like over a thousand dollars. So he's saving like theoretically like two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars, something like that, and then. Uh, when he wanted to cancel because they couldn't fit him on the boat, like his, uh, two people on the boat at the date he wanted, he tried to cancel, but they only refunded him out of that, like, $600. They only refunded him, like, $38. And I'm being totally serious, like, 38 bucks. And he was pissed. Like, you, you could tell it in his writing. He was pissed. Like, all caps. Like, all exclamation points. He was pissed. Anyway. Uh, this other guy. He he did the same thing. Like, they... He, he got a, a voicemail from the same people. And he... He, like, uh... Was like, yeah, sure, let's go. And then... Turns out that was a scam too because um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I had it in my mind. Brain fart. Uh, excuse me, brain fart. Derp, derp, derp. Anyway, he got scammed too. He had to. He had to pay like a bunch of money. Also, oh, oh, that's right. Um, he had to pay like the money, and he was like, "Fine, it's it's still okay because it's still a pretty cheap venture." So he, uh, so he went, and it turns out he had to pay like extra money at the port or whatever the uh, like where he was taking off. I guess it was from Florida, because that was the uh, area code that the vacation company called me at. So. Uh, they, uh, they went and they had to pay extra money at the port, which normally the cruise company includes, uh, so they had, to, that was like $199 a person, and then it was, uh, what was it? Oh, he went to, uh, he went on the vacation, fine, whatever, the cruise is okay, not that great. Uh, he, I think he quoted as, as like, a converted, uh, van, like, because it was, like, bunk beds, like, not very comfortable kind of stuff, so, yeah, uh, so that kind of sucks, and then at the, at the, uh, at the supposed, uh, very nice hotel, it was a, uh, it was a half, 
a star. You know how like there's the ratings like one, two, three, four, five stars. It was like half a star. Half a star for the uh, the, the hotel or whatever. It was like the showers had diseases in them. Like I think he quoted athlete's foot. Uh, just just bleh, disgusting stuff. Uh, diseases. That it was the beds like were weren't made. They were just uh, not even washed. Um, what else? Uh, I think he said there was uh there were holes like uh leakage from the uh, roof. So it was it was basically a shack. So I I don't think they would even classify it as a hotel. Uh, so, that guy was really mad, and he wrote that, so I think that it's just a scam, because why would you want to pay all this money and still have, and still have to do, like, this bullshitty stuff? Like honestly, if if you really want to do that, uh, you're pretty dumb. Uh, you should like. Anyway, uh, that's besides the point. But um, so really scammy thing. Fifth Avenue Vacations is the vacation company. Uh, and they'll give you a call with this girl. She sounds really nice. Uh, like, oh, hello, I've got some great news, you've just won a vacation, congrats, congratulations, on a four-day, three-night trip to the Bahamas, congratulations, I'll give you, uh, this is all the information, gives you the inf information, and, um, says, uh, says you have to reply by, like, I think it was, like, uh, it was for me, it was Tuesday, and we left it the night before. Anyway, uh, you have to, uh, you have to take the vacation within a year and a half or 18 months, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, uh, if you ever get, like, one of those calls, please, like, for the sake of, like, feeling stupid, honestly, don't do it, really. You kind you kind of have to be sort of stupid, you know, to to do that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the end of the story. Uh, vacation scam fail. <laughs> uh, uh, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Uh, so, uh, rate, uh, rate the video whether you liked it or not, uh, I don't care if you dislike it, that, that's fine, uh, leave in the comments if you have any suggestions, um, and subscribe for more, okay, thanks, I will see you guys later, peace. Oh, Reese's Pieces. Hee <laughs> hee. See.